What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So today, Brandon and I are in central Wisconsin and we're gonna be doing some walleye fishing. We are down here below Dubay Dam. We've got about a quarter mile walk through the woods before we get down to the dam, but hey, spring is finally here. We've got open water rods in our hand. This feels so good. We are so excited to get back on the grind. It's been a hectic winter. We've got a heck of a walk, but we're gonna go ahead, get down there. And we're gonna get hooked up with some walleyes today. Let's do this. got down to the dam it is very open down here so it's extremely windy but luckily it's not too cold out here today so we're gonna get right into it hopefully Nick and I get hooked up right away I'm gonna be starting out with plastics and Nick is gonna start out with live bait we're gonna see which one of them starts to work better for us I might end up switching to live bait if it works better but hopefully they start hitting on bigger plastics I'm hoping these fish are gonna start to be aggressive it is starting to warm up here in northern Wisconsin so it should be a good time we're gonna get out here cast a line see if we get hooked up all right guys hooked up on the first fish no idea what it is seems pretty big so i'm gonna assume that i foul hooked a carp or something but you can never be too sure i've only been out here for about five minutes Let's see what we got got here Nick not the species we're going for just what I thought what a beautiful fish oh Nick. yeah just a dandy that's a tank it's got to be pushing 30 pounds yeah <laughs> not the exact species we wanted but we've only been out here for about five minutes I knew as soon as I hooked into that thing that it was just ripping too much line that I had to have snagged the carp because I was down here yesterday trying to film a video and a couple people caught some carp and it acted exactly like that. But, you know, get a little adrenaline going. First catch of the day. We just get that out of the way. Hopefully all the other catches we get tonight are all walleye. So I'm going to get back out there and hopefully catch some walleyes. Alright guys. It's been a minute since we got hooked up. Wow. Not what I thought it was. Okay. Be. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, let me go to shore quick. I'll tell you in a minute why I'm surprised. <laughs> all right, so, why I'm surprised and why I didn't take that any serious at all is because last catch was a carp. I told Brandon that next carp I feel, I'm gonna absolutely demolish it. I set the hook into this thing thinking, oh, for sure, carp. And no, actually, not a giant, but this is for sure a female. Probably, I don't know, 16, 17 inches maybe. Nothing too big, but that's the first walleye of the night. I uh, <laughs> I will take it, I guess. Definitely surprising. All right, so I grabbed the measuring tape. Just gonna get a quick measurement on this fish. All right, we got about an 18, oh, 18 and a quarter inch fish. Nice, healthy walleye. Now, it is perfectly okay to keep one or two fish for a meal. I know a lot of people stress catch and release during this time of the year. There's nothing wrong with keeping one. Like I said, slot here is 15 to 20 inches you can keep, and then 20 to 28 you can't keep any, and then one over 28. So, like I said, this one's going home. First fish of the night for me, that's an actual walleye. Pretty stoked to see this one not being a carp because that's exactly what I thought it was. The night is still young, like I said, it's been a little bit since we've uh, had a fish, but maybe maybe this is the sign that we needed and maybe they're gonna start picking up. All right, so let me talk to you guys what I was using to catch that fish. Now, it's pretty simple here at the dam. Like Brandon said in the intro, he was gonna start with plastics and I was gonna start with minnows. We actually switched roles completely. He's the one using minnows at the time and I was using a plastic. What I got on this bad boy, pretty simple. This is just your standard quarter ounce jig head I mean nothing fancy about that one and it's a uh, chartreuse in color and then for the plastic as you guys can see is a paddle tail and the actual brand is pretty much what everybody uses for early springtime walleyes this is the authentic X 
um, what is this actual color? Chartreuse Orange Core Paddle Tail. This is the two and a half inch. A lot of people like running the four, but around here you usually don't get too big of walleye, so we like to run a little smaller. And that was honestly, I think, my first cast with that, and it absolutely just smoked it. <laughs> this is gonna be a true test. If I can land this, oh my. This is a big girl. It's a big girl going through a lot of water. Oh my god. The owner. Feels really big. Oh yeah, nice size car. coming through this much water. We got multiple gates look open. Look how ugly this thing is. Oh yeah. He's we're gonna, hugging that big. Yeah, we're gonna let this smelly cow go. All right, see you later, big girl. Have fun. Next time, please be a walleye. <laughs> well, that's still fun. Not exactly warm releasing that fish. I uh, stuck my hand in the water for whatever reason. Water temperatures are about 34, maybe close to 35. It's still not exactly extremely warm out by any means. The wind is ripping across at us today, but the water temperatures are warming up. With a little bit of rain, the sun beating down on this water, fish are gonna start moving up, getting ready for the spawn, hopefully within the next couple of weeks here. And uh, hopefully even the northern dams are gonna start popping for us. Obviously we wanna get out to De Pere. We're gonna be getting out there soon, but hey, Dubai's doing all right, so we're down here right now, and hopefully we get hooked up again. Brandon's hooked up again. This one feels more like a walleye, and it is. Hey, hey little guy. Woo! There we go. I've got an interesting little combination that I'm using right now. Just a little one, probably about 12 inches, maybe, give or take. Clobbered it though, but inch and a half into its mouth so that's good there we go got that out of there and check that out Brando's first walleye well he definitely wants to go male. definitely a male a little one he wants to go bad so he's gonna go back there we go but hey the white pink and green combo I was just trying something different but it worked and again upsizing definitely helped right there I just put this on and that one came up and clobbered it so I'm glad to see that one was not a carp Hopefully the next one's a little bit bigger. It's getting a little bit, you know, more into the evening time now. We've been out here for probably about two hours or so, and uh, definitely seems like the evening bite is uh, when they're starting to hit. We came out here earlier, we didn't have much at all, but now they're starting to get into them, so let's see if we can get another one. I know a lot of people think that carp are just like no fun at all, but I tell you what, I don't care if these things are completely useless. When you got something that's literally just dead weight and peeling your line it's fun to catch i don't care i'm gonna come out and say it i'm a carp fan <laughs> these things are just full out fun to catch there he is that's a nice one. <laughs> oh goodness Woo. all right well just like that he's gone <laughs> but that's okay i didn't want to touch that ugly thing like brandon did he full out gave it a hug i'm just gonna <laughs> softly release it get back to fishing for some walleye. Alright, this got hooked up. This one is not a carp. This one's gonna be a walleye. Pretty sure of it. Felt the old tap roo. Doesn't feel very big. Yep, this is a walleye. Hey buddy! I literally just got done saying that you know we should probably start catching these fish and here we go longer one but uh, again this is gonna be a male and it's not very big maybe this one might be pushing 15 inches actually which is of keeping size if we're already keeping one I actually might measure this one if it's over the legal limit we'll take it home one for me and Brandon will cook ourselves up a fish fry comes right off there we go just a small one let's go take a measurement quick see what we're dealing with we got 15 and 
three quarters. So this one is of legal size. Already keeping one. Might as well keep another. It doesn't hurt anything. We're gonna set them right next to the other one. And uh, we're gonna give it a few more minutes because hey, the sun's at the top of the trees. It is walleye time. We're having ourselves a pretty decent day out here between the carp and the walleye. We're gonna get back at it, see if we can get maybe one more. Alrighty guys, well that is gonna wrap it up for us today. We had a lot of fun getting down here and doing some shore fishing out here in our waders and just having overall really good time. It is so, so nice to be back in front of the camera and out open water fishing here in Wisconsin. It has been far too long. Honestly guys, it's been a hot minute. We have not uploaded a video in nearly a month. Uh, the reason for that is how much snow we got up here in northern Wisconsin. Obviously, Nick and I are pretty far north and we averaged about 55 inches of snow last year and we had over 100 by mid-February this year. We got double the snow count that we did over the last couple of years. So that is what has been holding us back from even ice fishing, which is what we truly, truly love to do. But we're out here open water fishing. Spring's right around the corner, guys. We're out here. We got ourselves a dandy little meal couple walleyes to take home. We are going to be hitting to pier, like I said earlier, probably this weekend most likely. Uh, the dams around here are doing well for us as well, so expect more videos to come. We're gonna go ahead and take these guys home. If you guys would like to see a catch and cook video, comment it down below because uh, now that we're walleye fishing again, I think we could probably do it. Spring is finally here, guys, so we're glad to have you guys back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks again, and tight lines from NB Edits.